welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations Crafting on a Budget. Before we jump into today's farmhouse DIY, I wanted to share with you that Sock City is having their 11th anniversary giveaway. So what does that mean? That means that if you enter their giveaway, they will send you a free pair of fun socks just for entering their giveaway while supplies last. And because it is their 11th anniversary, they will be giving some of the fun items that they sell on their website away in this giveaway to 11 lucky people. You can find the link to the entry form in the description box below if you're interested in entering the giveaway and receiving a free pair of socks, like I said, for just entering. And you never know, you might be one of the lucky 11 who win this giveaway. Now on to today's farmhouse DIY. You can see here that I have been looking at farmhouse windows for a while because I've been trying to find inspiration in order to make my own farmhouse window that resembled a log cabin window. This window here is the closest that I found, but it still wasn't exactly what I wanted to do. There are several people on YouTube that are doing farmhouse windows right now. Bargain Bethany is definitely one of them who does amazing farmhouse windows using Dollar Tree frames. It wasn't until I ran across this pool noodle spiral topiary DIY by Chick on the Cheap when it hit me. Oh my word, I can do this log cabin farmhouse window using pool noodles. This is the perfect item to achieve the look that I am looking for. So thank you Chick on the Cheap for your inspiration with your topiary because you pushed me in the direction that I needed to be pushed in to do this farmhouse window that I've been waiting to do for a while. So let's jump into this and let me show you how I make a log farmhouse window out of Dollar Tree's pool noodles. I picked up four of these pool noodles from the Dollar Tree. I only ended up needing three total. I'll be using this saw by tool bench that you can also get from the Dollar Tree. It's got this real sharp graded edge here. This is the saw that I found works perfectly for cutting through the noodles. I'm gonna cut the noodles in half. Using scissors, I found that it was really hard to cut through and have nice even edges. And so I found that for a dollar to buy this saw to cut these noodles, it was worth it. And I've used this saw in other DIYs before as well. It works perfectly for cutting Dollar Tree's foam board as well. So I'm gonna cut all of my noodles in half. I found that cutting the noodle from the side was a lot harder, so if you stood it up and just kind of sawed down the noodle, it was a lot easier and it went a lot faster and the noodles came out almost perfectly even after they were cut. After cutting them all in half, I measured out two pieces at 34 inches, two pieces at 32 inches, one piece at 28 inches, and two pieces at 16 inches. I'm gonna start off by taking the two 32 inch pieces. This is going to be the width of my window. Now with the two 34 inch pieces, I'm gonna place them on the sides, making the height of my window. And I'm gonna place them on the outside of the 32 inch pieces, just like so. The glue that I'll be using to hold my noodles together is this E6000. I'm using a clear one today, white, clear. It doesn't really matter because we're gonna paint these noodles anyway. I'm not gonna use hot glue because hot glue will melt the pool noodles, even on low temperature. And so I just don't think honestly that it will hold them as well as I need it to hold them. It would be good for a good backup glue but initially I'm gonna be using E6000 because it is an epoxy glue and it holds amazingly. And just to help keep it in place, I will be using this blue painter's tape by Toolbench that you can get at the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna put this on all of the joints, all of the places that I put the E6000 just to hold it together a bit better while it dries. 
I'm now going to place the 28 inch piece of pool noodle parallel with the 34 inch sides of the window. Then taking the 16 inch pieces, I'm gonna place them on each side of the 28 inch pool noodle, leaving me with this. And again, I'll be using my E6000 to glue these pieces into place as well, along with using the blue painter's tape to help hold it in place while the E6000 dries. On a nice hot day, E6000 can dry in just a couple of hours if you place your item outside. If it's a colder, more humid day, it could take up to 18 to 24 hours for the E6000 epoxy to actually cure. But on a good day, it should dry pretty quickly. And luckily I am outside today doing this project because it was a beautiful day. It was a 82 degrees out. And so I thought it was the perfect day to do some crafting outside. The E6000 has dried. It's been a couple of hours. Now using my hot glue gun on the low temperature setting, I'm gonna take and flip over my window to the back side, and I'm going to just add some hot glue to all of the joints just to reinforce everything. I'm not real worried about the pole noodle melting a bit on the low temperature. I just think that this is gonna help reinforce it to hold it together a bit better along with the E6000. Today, I will be using Waverly's chalk paint in the color of ivory to paint my pool noodle window. I've tried several other acrylic paints. You can use Apple Barrel. The one thing I have found using Apple Barrel and some of the other cheaper acrylic paints is that you do need to apply more than one coat. I have found that with the Waverly chalk paint, it really only needed one coat and there were a couple of spots that maybe needed a touch up for two coats. But other than that, it was a one coat application paint. As far as spray paint is concerned, regular spray paint will beat up and roll off of pool noodles because they are made of styrofoam and there's not really anything for the paint to adhere to. And so I have found that a textured paint by Rust-Oleum actually work really well as well and a latex brush on paint worked amazingly if you don't mind having that glossy look. I didn't want to go with a glossy look. I wanted that matte chalk finish because I am going with a log cabin wood look and so the Waverly paint has worked perfect for this. And to give this window that log wood feel, I will be using this Waverly sample size paint. It is a wax paint in the color of antique wax. This is a sample size paint that you can pick up from Walmart in their craft section and they sell these paints for under $2 and this is an amazing paint to work with. The painting technique that I will be using today to paint this log window is a water and dry brush technique using both. Because these are pool noodles and they are styrofoam, I cannot sand them to distress them. And so in place of sandpaper, I will be using water to soften up the lines that I make with my dry brush strokes. It got a bit windy outside, so I had to bring this project inside. My tarp was flying everywhere. I had paint spilling, water spilling. So we are going to wrap this project up indoors. And because I want to hang my window as a decorative piece, I will be using some of Dollar Tree's decorative nautical rope because I think that this is the perfect finishing touch to add to this wood log cabin, rustic feel of this picture window. And I'll just be hot gluing the rope to the back of the picture window. I'm not real worried about whether or not the rope is going to hold the window because it is made out of pole noodles. So this is such a light piece that it's gonna hold just fine. And using these wild flowers that I picked up from Walmart for 97 cents a piece, I hauled these in my Walmart crafting haul because this was what I had in mind for these wild flowers. I'm going to take and bend the wire stem at a 90 degree angle. 
so I can hot glue it to the back of the window and I'm gonna hot glue these flowers at the bottom of the window, not at the top where the rope is. Giving us that feeling that you're looking out the window and you're seeing these wild flowers that are either growing outside your window or in your window seal. I initially hot glued one flower in each window. When I turned it around, I didn't like it. I realized flowers don't grow like that. Why would there be a flower in the top window? So I removed all the flowers from the top and I put six bunches of these wildflowers along the bottom two windows. And would you just look at how stinking cute this rustic farmhouse window turned out. It looks way better with all the flowers in the bottom two windows rather than having some up in those top windows. I am happy with the way this looks. These pool noodles work perfectly for that log cabin feel, that rustic log cabin feel that I was going for. I am so happy with the way that this turned out. Please give this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to my channel, stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Google Plus, and Twitter. You can find those links in the description box below. Just click on those links, click follow, and you'll also be notified through social media when I'm uploading a new video or just doing something fun. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget, and bye for now, everybody. Thank you.